A much closer encounter with space came in 1979, the year we celebrated our 150th birthday. It was awe inspiring, really. Um, at first, I couldn't believe that it would be Skylab. But um, obviously, the flash was Skylab exploding as it approached the coast here over Albany and then broke into hundreds, literally hundreds, of multicoloured pieces. It's hard to appreciate now, but there was worldwide hysteria when the crippled US space station Skylab threatened Earth. No one knew where it would hit. While millions feared for their lives, others made the most of it. Then one night, out of control, Skylab came crashing down on Western Australia. Well, I thought we were, you know, dead for sure. It's, uh, it's one thing I'll never forget, and it'll always be in my head, that, uh, seeing that skylight coming towards us. We lost track of the thing on its last pass somewhere around, uh, what the devil's name of the, the Kerguelen Islands, or something roughly Ascension. that, Ascension Island. And uh, the next thing we heard we were uh, was that it was coming down over Australia. Charcoal lumps of Skylab landed on a tin shed in Esperance. I just look up, it was just like cutting 100 metres off, it felt like it was, and then, and then the shell went quiet and the sonic boom after that and everybody's like, oh, what was that? 17-year-old Stan Thornton quickly grabbed the chunks, got on a plane to America and claimed 10,000 US dollars, the prize for the first bit of Skylab returned to the United States. I'd been to Perth and been to, as far as Geraldton, but um, never out of Western Australia. And uh, yeah, that's when it started buzzing. I think their head started spinning. I was getting followed around everywhere by, by at least four, five, ten cameras at a time. In remote Baladonia, meanwhile, the lone telecom phone box got a very important call. Then they said that the President of the United States wished to speak and another voice came on and he said that he wished to apologise to all the Australian people for the inconvenience of Skylab landing over Australia. The biggest chunk, an oxygen cylinder, was hauled into Kalgoorlie, where police seized it as lost property. 